Okay guys, so as promised, here is part two of the Tiny Book of Tiny Stories. Read along. The Tiny Book of Tiny Stories, Volume 1. From Hit Record and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Now since this is part two of the videos, uh, we're going to start from where we left off last time. The mumblebee had a fuzzy buzz. When he tried to say honey, it came out all funny. One day before breakfast, an orange rolled off the counter and escaped its fate, bounding happily through the kitchen door. Filled with hope, the egg followed The element of surprise wasn't allowed near the periodic table. Poor guy. One night, your walls will disappear, and all the things you held so dear will float away inaudibly. It's Hero, the boy argued. No, the girl insisted. It's her O. The outsider stood beside the little low tide, and as it dried, and he sighed as he decided we'd be better off inside. Sometimes I lie awake wondering about the future when I lie awake wondering about the past. The hostess offered seconds, but the guests were stuffed. Get it? Stuffed animals? Hope so. In winter, when the leaves have gone, the owls swoop in to keep the trees warm. That's adorable. Oh, is it like a dress smart kind of place? I fear I might be paranoid. I propose a repetition. Please repeat your proposition. One wanted to share a life together. The other wanted to share, too. In the end, he just decided to call it an early Christmas decoration. See that? The boy lost his kite. Simple. Is it going to hurt? No, it's going to be simple and painless. You can't sleep? Me either. Let's can't sleep together. I know other worlds exist. I can see them in my peripheral vision. And that, dear ladies and gentlemen, is where we are stopping on today's tiny book of tiny stories. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you around here for the next segments of part three of the tiny book of tiny stories.